If you're learning about piecewise functions this year and you don't really understand it, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So piecewise functions are just a normal function, but you break it up into segments. Okay. So whenever X is less than negative two in this example, we use the function two X plus five. When X is greater than or equal to negative two or less than or equal to three, we use X squared minus one. And when X is greater than three, we use four X minus seven. So whenever we want to evaluate a piecewise function, we're going to look at this. All right. So it says evaluate F of negative four. So whenever X is equal to negative four, that's going to fall into this first section, right? Because if X is less than negative two and negative four is less than negative two, we use this function two X plus five. So I'm going to write that down two X plus five. And now all we have to do is plug in our X value for X. And so when we do that, we'll have two times negative four plus five. So two times negative four is negative eight. And then plus five is negative three. And so that means that F of negative four is equal to negative three. And that would be our answer. Okay. So let's do one more example. So let's say we want to evaluate F of positive three. Well, once again, let's go to our piecewise function and we see that if X is greater than three, we use four X minus seven. But if X is equal to three, we're going to use X squared minus one. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So X squared minus one, let's plug in our X value of three. So three squared minus one. So three squared is three times three, which is nine minus one is eight. And so F of positive three is equal to eight. And that is how you evaluate piecewise functions.